Good morning. We are here in Fort Myers, Florida, uh, an area that got devastated uh, just a little over a week ago by Hurricane Ian. Uh, you probably heard about uh, some of the impact that it has had on the community. Well, we were able to, in partnership with the state of Florida to obtain a warehouse. Uh, this warehouse is receiving goods or donations from all over the world. Uh, the state of Florida is partnered up with uh, a couple of businesses like Walmart, Home Depot, other entities from around the country that are contributing to the community affected right here in Fort Myers. A lot of things are happening. Trucks are coming in and trucks are going out as we try to get the material and the, the goods to the distribution centers all over the place. We have four that are operating right now Plus the state has a few that they operate themselves and all the goods that go to these centers are coming from this center. People have been donating, it's been wonderful. We have um, trucks that are taking things out to the disaster sites. There are many here because it hit like three islands uh, in this area, Sanibel, uh, Captiva, Fort Myers Beach especially. We're working with our state agencies, our state partners to operate this warehouse because at Venice Community Services, that is our MOU with FEMA and Red Cross to operate the warehouses. It's been a blessing. The state government and everyone in this area has been wonderful working with us. I've noticed that they're bringing in experts from other states as Texas, uh, Arizona, and the main thing that we really need is for us to volunteer. We need volunteers. From the very start, this facility was considered too small. It's only 62,000 square foot. And so it's easily filled out. So Amazon has actually offered a larger facility, which is two and a half hours away in, in Coral Springs, Florida, that facility is over 210,000 square foot. And right now as we speak, they are opening up. You know, they are a week later than we are. Next week this time, things will be what things are right now for us because we had a week early start. But they are there, the team is putting things together, working hard to organize and to receive the donations. And uh, basically, they will feed this area the stuff is only stored there because we don't have enough space here. But all the products will be coming back over here to the distribution centers. Well, it is always good to do what God wants you to do. He set the example, looking out for others. And there are a lot of us who, are, who have been impacted in a negative way by Ian. And I see people suffering. And this is my only way that I can reach out to them and show them some of what Christ wants me to show them. My appeal to you today is to please contact the NAD Disaster Response Community Service Coordinator, Derek Lee. Please contact him. If you have a Disaster Response Coordinator in your area, let them know because we need volunteers. We need volunteers not only to drive forklifts or things like that, but we need volunteers to help sort. A lot of things come into the warehouse that's unsorted. Those are the things that the people need in the disaster areas. They need diapers, they need water, they need food. But if we don't have you to help us manage and operate it and get it to them, then we're failing on what God has called us to do. We'll be here for nine months to a year, hopefully supporting this particular community right here. Keep us all in your prayers and we thank you so much. Adventist Community Services.